Heavy Tank 9 mission. Destroy an enemy vehicle by ramming cause more damage to the enemy uh, vehicle and survive the ramming. So pretty much the most important thing for you is to ram someone who is uh, uh, lighter than you are. So if you are playing with a heavy tank, you are trying to ram medium tank or light tank or even art. It depends on your weight, right? Also, obviously, you need to win the game and survive. So you cannot simply go like crazy mother trucker through the field just to ram someone and die. It is not a recommended and it is not a good thing just play your game normally with whatever tank you are playing looking into the tanks uh, if I am not mistaken, I did this mission with Oi, and the main reason why I did that because this tank is big boy it's enough to touch someone gently and you can ram him to death and that goes for many tanks either the tank needs to be quick or either tank needs to be heavy as oi right i think oi is extremely good for this mission and overall even heavy tanks there is a big 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 chance you are going to do more damage uh, than you will take now whenever you are ma whenever you are trying to ram artas be smart fellas you need to kill arta with ramming so if you are playing with a tank which has let's say 250 alpha damage and arta has 300 hit points shoot him once before ramming him to death right so you don't need to build a humongous speed or something it's enough for you to gently touch it and you are going to be fine i don't think you need to have a, the, the, fa the crazy fast uh, tank in order to do that it's completely unnecessary just play the game and look for opportunities whenever you can go in front like this and ram everyone right it is important thing to say anyways uh this is how i did it fellas oh this is going to be a good one like i said in the intro you don't need the fastest tank ever it is enough for you to have something heavy and we have e75 fellas so our mission is to ram enemy vehicle causing more damage than enemies uh, to my vehicle and survive the ramming after that obviously we need to win and survive as a secondary condition the funnest thing is and survive the ramming and after that we need to survive ah i see i see double survivor mission okay okay i see now, in this case scenario, fellas, I really want to be honest with you. This is like the worst case scenario which we could get. Fellas, we are playing with a meatball and we are playing in Prokurovka fields. I mean, how often can you ram in Prokurovka, fellas? How often can you ram in this map? Not that often, right? Um, unfortunately, but it is the case. But you know what? It is not stopping us from trying. Obviously, at first we are playing the game uh, as normal. At first we are thinking um, uh, who is going to be the lucky gentleman who is going to get punished for his mistakes and for his stupidity and unfortunately we did not manage it to hit this light tank but that's completely fine at this point my mission is to play somewhere in the middle and just simply eliminate enemy vehicles whenever they will do something silly and as you can see uh, scorpion g made a mistake unfortunate nothing what he can change about this he can only accept his responsibility and better luck next time meanwhile gusor sitting in the open field how are you doing we are spanking him for 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 solid 500 damage or close to that and we are booming fellas <coughs> we are feeling extremely extremely well and once again it's not the time to panic for a mission eventually the time will come and then we are going to say broom 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 at this point we are just playing and yes you hear that right tanks like e75 can work for this without bigger problems whatsoever now, if you would pay attention, what do we have on the minimap? We have Borat who is uh, saying, I'm a light tank, I don't care. Uh, so he is making a bit uh, pressure in front and he is doing a great job. I would say our Borat definitely has CVS. So he is just trying to make as much pressure as he physically and possibly can while taking the position of the light tank. By the way, Borat is one of those rear medium tanks, in my opinion, who can actually uh, go in front like this and who can... Uh, um, make the things work in this way right and this is a great thing now i am evaluating the situation we know one thing enemies have plenty of the forces on top of the hill and we know they have plenty of the forces in the middle right so at this point what i am thinking i am thinking to say hello for whoever is playing on top of the hill right uh, this is my biggest mission and there is one trick 
to get a better angle here and it is destroying this building over here in front of us because this building is destructible so pay attention how am i doing the things i am loading high explosives and i am destroying this building skill i have a question why so well now i do not need to overpeak as much as i needed before yes in the same time enemies have better angle in order to shoot me as well it, undoubtedly fellas um but I won't expose myself that much to be shot by them, right? And all I need to do, I need to aim properly. I was thinking, wait a second, uh, where my shell disappeared? But I think in the end of the game, we are going to figure this out. We will see. I think this is a blind shot, if I am not mistaken. Pay attention at the board, fellas. This board is MVP. The board is just simply tar 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 going in front like there is no tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'm actually Betty. How are you doing? Beautiful accuracy by the E75. I played with this tank quite um, some games and I figured out in one game E75 is behaving like the best sniper schnitzel and in another game this tank is uh, treating me like I would be the um, worst uh, child in the family and I am getting punished all the time. Time. Uh, but oh well, not much what I can change about this. Anyways, we are still looking on top of the hill. All we want to see, we want to see enemy forces trying to get involved. Come on, boys. Get involved so I can do something in this game. You know, I won't finish with 1,300. Pretty please, I will be good. I will be good. Can you? As you can see, enemies are just simply playing patiently. Or are they? Yep. So far they are fellas, so far they are. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Look at this Bora doing heavy lifting. I truly want to sh highlight how one guy um, with the big balls can simply carry the game and he's not even a light tank, so that is a solid one. At this point I started getting, well, not nervous, but I... Uh, I am concerned. Will I complete this or I won't complete this? I'm paying attention to the minimap and I'm seeing, aha, Mr. Kunze is playing in the middle. Still, they cannot have that many forces in the two line because our light tank is, he is making pressure, right? And as you can see, now he took initiative over Borat. And watch this beautiful. I am loading uh, uh, gold ammunition and at this point I am committing for this. I am thinking now or never. Meanwhile, Waffle is hitting us in the face. Um, Iron Arnie is sniping from the back. You know what? I couldn't care less, my man. Smile for me, mother. Tracker, smile for me. Ta -da 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 -da. 629 ramming. Skill, you lost all your hit points. Who cares? I completed my mission. I know how risky that was. I know how bold that was. But sometimes you need to find... Uh, sometimes you just need to go for it, you know? Uh, obviously, that wasn't the smartest choice comparing uh, how many HP I lost for this, right? But once again, we completed the mission. It's not that easy, though. And why am I saying it is so risky? Because Buffalo is still in the back, right? And I want to be smart. Obviously, I do not want this Buffalo to kill me. So I'm trying to move like this. I'm saying, Cupola, dear, Cupola, dear. You know, I am moving like crazy mother trucker. But that is a part of the journey. And Buffalo is thinking about escaping. <laughs> uh, unlucky. So who is the spotter now? Borat? <laughs> Obviously, we managed to outspot the Waffle, he doesn't have the best camo ever, and we are chilling, uh, and we are having the best time ever, right? Uh, we have 2.5 visible damage, we have 1.2 thousand assisting damage, and in this situation, we are just making as much pressure as we physically and possibly can. I really doubt that this E75 will look towards me, I honestly think he is uh, definitely busy while trying to eliminate the guys who are already jumping on him right so um, i can kind of ignore him and now we want to see who is sitting here in the back right that's what we want to see i was considering to straight up peeking here but i changed my mind a bit right um, i think that was completely unnecessary to do so although probably it would be better decision i see the progetto now i'm thinking okay progetto is sitting here what to do Ooh, my assisting damage so borat this is how you are spotting you are playing with e75 to spot not with some kind of borat that's what i am thinking at this point 
obviously since so many forces of ours arrived at this point i am thinking i need to join the battle as well we eliminated iron army hip hip hooray and yes i still have the same thought in my head as i need to survive this game i do not really want to um die in this battle night because that then that rhyming would be very wasteful and look at this we are building our angle oh beautiful how about lower plate shot i mean i'm telling you when this tank is working then it is absolutely amazing skill what you are trying to do i try to ride him i must admit i try to ride him and fellas if you i would highly recommend to close your eyes uh, and do not look into the chat and i'm definitely not uh, ask him uh, to ride him and i never had a dream to ride a sterva uh, and uh, fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i definitely wouldn't pay for that <laughs> yeah you know, fellas a bit a bit of the entertainment is not a bad thing okay uh, so yeah well unfortunate fellas well maybe for a next time if you will meet me with a sweet <laughs> If you will meet me with a Swedish tank destroyer, you know what is my dream and you can remind this to me when I will play with E75. Anyways, the most important thing is we finished uh, this mission and I do not really think it is that hard. Obviously, you still need to win, you still need to survive, and considering, let's say, uh, the average win ratio in the game is, let's say, 50, uh, obviously, half of the games you won't be able to complete it, but there is nothing but you can change about this. Beautiful game, let's see the score. And this is the score, fellas. Mission completed with honors. This is the most important thing. In the end of the day, we have 3.2 thousand damage, 2.3 thousand assisting damage. I am happy with the score overall. I mean, come on, with a heavy tank to get uh, 5.5 thousand combined in the Prokurovka, that is a good score. All in all, I'm very happy about this and looking into the Borat. I was uh, saying Borat is doing a good job. Maybe I need to change my mind fellas only 2000 damage i am talking with a frog i don't know uh, <laughs> okay fella <laughs> and t54 a lightweight view <laughs> Beautiful score. If you are wondering why am I laughing, uh, it is going to be our secret. I, I remember the joke. <laughs> okay, fellas, take care. I hope you were very, very well entertained and see. <laughs> and see you soon. Peace.